That was damn good. Thank you. Check out the circumference of that bar. Two inches. Two inches. What's it called? Axle bar. We'll be using that world. Axle bar. Yep. Gotcha. Well, at the Arnold Classic, we gotta clean this from the ground and press it overhead. Do not, do not power cleaning it like you would with a normal barbell. You have to it's called continental clean. So reverse grip. I'll pull it up to my chest, flip my hand over, then clean it, and then we wrap it. Wow, that sounds crazy. Yeah, my my company is 255. So. Hopefully we get in double digits with that. So how many is it? How many reps you got with it? Yeah, is that we how got it goes? 60 seconds to do as many reps as we can. So what are you what are you uh, hoping to shoot for at 255? Uh, 255. My wife says uh, like 16, but I'd be happy with 14, 15, but 16 would be awesome. Yeah. And what do you got on here now? Three, that's 315. 315? Yeah, for a double. Yeah, this bar, this bar. It's hard to get centered on. So every, I felt everything in my right hand. What's the bar weight? Uh, that's only 25 pounds. So gotcha. I, I put 10s on the inside and make it like a 45 pound bar. So math is easier. <laughs> Got ya. Yeah. So guy, this is like a typical workout for you? Yeah, this would be on my shoulder day. First I would overhead press and then after doing overhead press, I'd do a couple sets of French pressing. And then I go to my dumbbells and then my flies. My raises and stuff like that. So this one, this is gonna be French press. Yeah. The tricep stuff, basically. Yep. yep. And a little, it has a little shorter. Works so, I emphasize my lockout because that competition, the judges always look for you to lock out. So when I come up, I really lock out through my elbows. Through. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome, yeah. man. How did that feel? Uh, feel it in your triceps, not shoulders at the top. Yeah, definitely, definitely works after you overhead. So, and do you do one set or how many sets do you I'll do? I'll end up doing three, three total. Just like that one, more yep, or less. Just like that one, no, no weight, just shorter, shorter breaks. Do this for another set, and then go again for one more. Then cool. go over, do my other stuff, dumbbells. So we got Guy, we got Jason, dropping weight, and we got Justin. Feel like heavy. heavy, heavy after everything else. Oh. So how many sets of that do you do? Four. Four, same weight or? Yeah, I'll keep the same weight today. I did so much on overhead. So you generally go heavier than that? Yeah, I just did these today because they're close to me. <laughs> they're right in front of me. Advanced. Yeah, normally, normally a little heavier than this. Good thing I did this weight today because it's advanced. All right, so guys all finished here. We're both trying to get our workouts in here, so I neglected to catch up with them. What would you end up finishing up with? Some, tri some uh, uh, tricep extensions. Tricep some extensions. Tri um, sets of 12, 15. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, you can catch me at the Arnold Classic, going after a amateur World Strongman Championship and the lightweight 175 pound weight class. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Guy Fulton. Follow me on Instagram at Guy Fulton Jr. Um, 
or you can hashtag Team Fulton. You'll find a lot of my videos there. Um, that's, that's about it. And he's uh, part of the Gorilla with Calls yeah, family, for so sure, for sure. you're gonna see him. Yeah. You're gonna see him on our channel too. You catch him there, or you can All just right. comment on this video and he'll uh, respond back. I hope. Yeah, yeah for sure. So, uh, guy, what is it? Just to give him a little teaser for the Arnold. What are you, are you doing a farmer walk? Is that what it's called? No, no. We have uh, the axle bar, clean and press, uh, axle deadlift uh, for reps in 60 seconds. It's uh, 540, 540 pounds for reps in 60 seconds. Uh, I have a yoke, a 630-pound yoke I carry for 60 feet, fastest time wins. And then, uh, oh man, put me on the spot. <laughs> Uh, deadlift, axle bar, yoke, and then I got this crazy keg medley where I got to carry a 225 pound keg, 20 feet, clean and press it, carry another 20 feet, clean and press it, and another 20 feet, clean and press it for reps. And then if I'm top four in the world on day one, I'll move on to day two. There's a mystery event for day two, um, and then Atlas Stone Series. So that's awesome. So there's a mystery event day two? Yeah, they, they let it out the week before Worlds. So we don't really have time to train it, it's kind of last minute. So the week before Worlds, I'm normally cut weight. I cut about 20 to 25 pounds in four or five days. I do a water load, so. So when, um, so what time and where is the first competition going to be when you get there? Uh, we don't, they don't give that out until the itinerary, but it'll be inside the, the convention center at the Arnold Classic. Uh, times normally around 10 o'clock. Don't hold me to that. It might start at 9. And what day? Uh, Friday. Friday. March, March 3rd on Friday. And then day two will be on Sunday because the professionals like uh, Thor, uh, Brian Shaw, uh, a buddy of mine, Zach Hodge, he'll be all competing on Saturday and then we compete Sunday if we meet top four by Friday night. Awesome. So get on out there, root for, root for a fellow gorilla. Yes, sir. You catch him at the Arnold if you're going to be there anyway. You can come by the booth and talk to him if you can catch him there when he's hanging out. And he'll be more than glad to talk to you, talk with you. All right. All right, so that's it, guys. All Take right, care. We'll catch you. up with you again, guys. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you.